Well, good morning. Holy jeez. The, the white balance right now good is just out of this world. Good morning, good evening, wherever it is that you are in this world. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I kind of like need to stop and start this again because I can't stand myself this way. All right, it's not changing. I'm just gonna have to be this white this early in the morning. Am I really this white early or am I just early, really this white? I thought, I thought I had some color on myself. No, I'm not that white. What is this? What is this? Good morning, everybody. Um, Furious Pete. I need to go to another room. Oh, nope, nope. Oh, there we go, darkness. This is worse. Ah, that's almost better. Not really. Well, anyways, uh, it is currently 5.20 in the morning. Been up for 20 minutes, had a shower. Ready to get this day started, because uh, today is a huge day for one of my companies, New Age Performance. Uh, we are doing Dragon's Den, which is just like Shark Tank. Um, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a very intense day. Uh, one of my athletes and really good friends is here as well, Mr. Brian Shaw, world's strongest man. Uh, so I'm excited for that, uh, to have him on the show as well. So it's going to be a really, really interesting and cool day. Um, a very big opportunity for us. And uh, we are going to smash it. We are going to crush the shit out of the show. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes, and I'm gonna hopefully also take you, uh, you know, with Brian Shaw. Maybe we'll see what he's up to. He's competing in one month at the World's Strongest Band Contest, so we'll see how big this big boy is. So, I forgot to vlog our breakfast. You guys know who I'm with. He had like, how many dishes did he have? Like, five, six? It was crazy, he just destroyed them. Mr. Brian Shaw, welcome, welcome. Thank you, sir. Good to see you once again. Good Absolutely. to have him here, right? <laughs> it's good to yeah, have really him. Really good job. You're looking good, bro. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're almost looking <laughs> as good as... Oh, oh my God, put those away. <laughs> put, put those, those guns away. away. You're looking almost as good as Brian right no, here. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> those legs, man. How big are those quads? I don't know. It's getting bigger, right? Yeah, I, th I feel like that's like a awkward segue like start what do you think yeah, yeah, I, think so too. yeah. I think it's really awkward i think we're gonna pause right here we're on our way to dragon's den and uh we'll catch up with brian soon <laughs> we're behind the scenes at dragon's den how cool is that how cool is that how cool Brian's is that guys <laughs> but he's gonna look even better very soon he's gonna change his shirt i'm gonna change right. my shirt i've already i came prepared yeah okay, so I'm be, I'm <laughs> and you just, just got a fresh lint roll <laughs> And I'm the, I'm the smart one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The brains. <laughs> I'm gonna have to disagree with you. It better be Brian pulling it out. It's Peter, what are you doing here? Well, no, oh no, no, this is totally fine. The, especially the reason it. behind it. Yeah. 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 Don't worry, and this can all get edited. Yeah. Beauty so, of. Uh, Brian, why aren't you lifting 300 pounds today over your head? This is a very good reason. For I mean, I, I normally just roll out of bed and lift 300 pounds over my head like every single day. <laughs> I mean, that's day. what I do. That's, but why, I'm taking a that's break. why I look the way I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you want to look like Brian, don't yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the no, but what do you got coming up in the morning? So, World's Strongest Man is right around the corner. So that's, that's the main reason mm -hmm. uh, that we're not lifting something a little bit heavier. Yeah. Yeah. You know, lucky, we were actually lucky to get Brian on the show today because originally we were supposed to film May 9th and that was like a no-go for Brian because he would be like two weeks out from World Songs Man. And I totally understand. Um, but yeah, today is April 26th and luckily enough, get the head home. We, we, got him, we got him for a couple hours today, literally. He came in at 11 last night, yeah. got like a couple hours of sleep, got some breakfast in him, and now, uh, now we're doing the show, so it's kind of fun. And tonight I will be in uh, the, 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 cold, tubs. the cold tub. <laughs> he, he got invited to that, by the way. <laughs> Uh, and he's turned down the offer. I don't well, know I'm why. I'm gonna insert yeah. a clip from that <laughs> when we were in the top together. So good. Oh my god, this is so awful. Oh god. Oh, oh yeah, this is just the best thing ever. Ooh. 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 Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm ready to get out. How do you stay here for five minutes? Oh, I feel dude, so this, good, dude. This hurts. 
What happens if I can't stay here for more than five minutes? Let's turn on the Jets. No. No, 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 not the Jets. Not the Jets. No. Man, that was that was an experience and a half. I don't know how you enjoy that. I have them at home now. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I saw oh. the pictures and I was yeah. like, man, there'd be like no escaping that if I ever visited you again. Yeah, you have to. Open the door and we go right to the top. Initiation yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. some kind. <laughs> <laughs> so we're making this dumb. So look yeah, cool for TV. this is a little bit of TV magic, I guess you could call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to do that. It's yep. not like he can't lift it because we've already seen him lift it. It's just this is just child's play, really. Yeah. <laughs> make it look good. Yeah. Can you do it? Can I see Brian? <laughs> The preset in the den is the table. There's nothing on the table to start. This is set behind the table. The gentleman will be carrying these in. To the right of the... Nonetheless, we're happy to see you. I've got a few things I need to share with you before you go into the den. First of all, who here has seen the movie Moneyball? Show of hands. Okay, well, those who haven't, there's a scene where Brad Pitt is on the phone talking to a guy the guy says something Brad Pitt wants to hear, and he slams the phone down. And Jonah Hill goes, I still think he had something left to say. To which Brad Pitt said, when you get the answer you want, hang up. That is excellent advice, except in this circumstance. <laughs> Bye. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you. Yeah. It's going to be so great. It's going to be a whole bunch of awesome. I can't wait for you guys to come out. Yeah, you got your wraps. Okay, so I'm backstage anxiously waiting. They've been gone for like maybe 30 minutes now. And that's usually like the amount of time that you're in there. So it's either going really good or I have no idea. Okay, they just turned the corner. I don't want to look because I don't want to know what their faces are telling me. I'm just going to wait until they get closer. Hello? Hey, how are you? Hey guys! Did you have the most fun of your entire life? So much fun! So much fun! So much fun! Yes! How fun was that? Oh, so much fun. High five! No, off camera. We can well, High five! High five! Anil, where's Anil? High five! That was awesome. I do that. Bam! So, um, as a consolation, uh, Dragon's Den wants to award you guys with oh, certificates. Wow. Oh. Rob Charlton. This oh, is to nice. acknowledge oh. that Robert Charlton, in the spirit of entrepreneurship, faced the fire of on C no face the fire on CBC Dragon's Den. <laughs> oh, so nice, that's yours. Nice, nice. thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you get one. You. Oh, yeah. Pass them around. Well done. Oh. Who's next, Peter? I'm gonna frame this. Yeah. Oh. oh. Who's this. next, Emil? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Well, last but not least. Right shot. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We got a certificate. Now we get this one. We have graduate. Okay, here we go. I got the door for you guys. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, thanks. There you go. Appreciate that. Oh, we can do it. oh yeah, that works too. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure you're good. Just what do you think we're going to get for How cute. Carrying a dumbbell together. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Peter, are you gonna get in, in trouble? For it's gonna get all scratched up. I don't know. No, you're thinking. Okay. You're thinking about it. I'll tell Jim Brown it was okay. Oh, okay. Brian said it was okay. Cause they all like idolize you there. <laughs> so it's perfect. No, it's fine. Cross the street. No. We don't cross the street. Oh, perfect. <laughs> this is awesome. Don't roll over people's feet. Watch people's feet. The weight's too 
heavy. Peter doesn't want to embarrass himself in front of the world's strongest man. <laughs> well, since Brian's as tall as a tower, we figured we'd take him to the only tower we know. Right? It's, it's, the, thing yeah. that, it's the thing to do in Toronto. Yeah. It's the thing to do. We'll do a... Can you... So excited! <laughs> Oh, wait, glass floor. Let's, let's see if Brian will uh, get on again. Get to his feet. That's his feet. <laughs> that you weren't afraid of heights. Come on. I'm not, I'm not afraid of heights. Oh, yeah. Just don't trust it. We just don't trust it. I weigh a lot more. I know you do. <laughs> yeah, but it, <laughs> but it can hold up to 48,000 pounds. <laughs> Some of you guys watching are probably freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it, come on. Come on, Brian, you can do it. Just take that first step. It's always the first step that starts. <laughs> 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 yeah. Crack it, even for him, it's like thinking of it. So, I found a way. You're double me. It's okay. Yeah, but you're not you're not 35 times heavier than a moose. Yeah, that's true. You should do it. Yeah. Or 1,000 beavers. I <laughs> <laughs> When you're tiny like that, that's fine. Not happening, huh? No. Okay. The second you do, you have butterflies in your stomach. Yeah. I have butterflies in my butt. Do you? That's kind of gross. Yeah. I bet you my butt a little jiggly. Yeah, you need a washer. In South Africa, we went. They had this um, crocodile farm. Yeah. Right? And it was a big, uh, like, plank bridge thing that went above all these crocodiles. And they told me at the time that it was only rated to 200 kilos, which is like 440 pounds. And there were three or four of us big guys all walking at the same time. I was so freaked out. <laughs> like, because we're too heavy. Yeah. And the bridge would creak. You know? It was silly. How much do you weigh? Like 450 pounds. Yeah. I know you got your chart up there, bro. <laughs> Are we allowed to? I feel like that chart has to be Yeah. Have you brought in, have you actually brought three and a half orcas in here? Well. Well. <laughs> I feel like 35 moose wouldn't fit in here. Yeah. Actually, not, not quite. But if I moose are the bigger the more. Yeah. They, they just seen it last like two weeks ago. How's that? Oh, somebody, wow. Somebody fell through. They actually. Fresh caught, so good job. Most of the time. Peter. Yeah. Oh, this might be time for Brian. This might, yeah. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Because uh, it's like, I was, I was thinking. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you guys go, you guys go. Yeah. Um, I was thinking. Uh, All right. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> kind of, kind of made it through. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the world's finest. Are you serious? Like, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. 11, 13, 15, and 16. Yeah, that's what it's doing. Wow. Congratulations! Thank you. That's great. I just wanted to feel your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze my hand. Yeah. Well, maybe after we we can take a picture. Can we? It'd be so funny. I I feel like we can put it up in the back there, so you can eat the most. We should have a, a yeah. We should. It's, it's funny you say that. He has world records for speed eating. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, he does. So, what is it? So, I thought, I thought it was the best no, like. 
undisputed world strongest man, period. I took Mel's advice for the <laughs> yes. Okay, here's mine. This looks amazing. How's it I love that they serve all these pizzas with like scissors now. Yeah, this Someone is really, really it. cool. Someone I like that. Alright, right. You know, CT Fletcher, uh, you know CT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, uh, he challenged me for an arm wrestle and he cheated. Yeah. Down for an arm wrestle? So, sad moment, Brian, uh, Rob went to drop off Brian at the airport, we went to drop off a circus dumbbell that we borrowed, and uh, sad because Brian was literally here for like half a day. And it makes me sad because I genuinely really, really like that dude. He's so humble, he's like uh, such a cool dude, and he's freaking the world's strongest man. How dope is that? Um, he is super cool and I, I, I wish he could be here for a week and I could hang out with him for a week. I would not get bored. I would be able to shoot the shit, eat with him, lift with him. It would be, I would say anything, it would be amazing. It would be a dream come true. And uh, it's a dream come true to have him as an athlete. So cool. Um, you know, he's an athlete of my company. That's, that's so cool. Like when I met him like eight, nine years ago, that was just like, hey, I'm meeting a really strong dude. And he wasn't even the world's strongest man at that point. And then he achieved that. And then now I have a company where he's an athlete of mine. It's, it's super, super so cool. and surreal. Surreal. That is a right word. But he's also a really good friend. And uh, really good to see him. And we're going to have him up here more. And I, I hope to make a trip down there. But he's competing at World's Strongest Man soon. So... I want you guys to go uh, and give him a shout out and wish him luck and everything. He's very active on Instagram, so uh, I'll leave a link to his uh, Instagram in the bio. Go check it out and uh, wish him all the best. He's competing in a month, so he needs all the support he can get. He's, he's definitely well prepared, but he needs all the support. And also, some of you guys might have been asking, um, you know, obviously, why didn't you film more content with him? Short period of time. I wanted to film an eating challenge with him, but one, he's a, not really a strict diet, but like an um, like he has to stick to certain foods. And two, it's just it was just a time constraint, just a time constraint. Uh, and to be honest, rather just enjoy his company at this point. Didn't want to just chow down and and eat off. So uh, I figured those questions would be like would be brought up, and I figured I'd just squash him, address him right now, and so you don't have to address it. Anyways, we're gonna go home. First guess. My first guess. First, but first, let me take a dicky. What? Instead of a selfie, you take a dicky. Are you still recording? Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> but first, let me take a dicky. Are you gonna have a sit down, we? A sit down, we. So back home. Uh, finally. Finally. I'm gonna explain this to you guys. Explain a cool. Not a cool situation. She took a while. A um, bunch of you guys got sex on the beach flavor before I even did. Before I even did. And I, this, this is my company, I should be getting this product first. But I finally got sex on the beach, finally have the black lids, all that figured out. My scooper isn't fixed yet, but it is in the next run. So that means uh, if you guys have had Goku Gains, you might have noticed the scooper is a little too big, um, but we are. I'm getting everything figured out for the next run, but the black lid is there, and I think it just looks so much better with the black lid instead of white. It does. It does. So sex on the beach. Do a little first-hand taste test. Maldiva has not tried this one, so she'll do a first-hand taste test, but not today, simply because it is like 8 p.m. Yeah. It's 8 p.m., and we got up at 5 a.m., so it's just like, just, um, we're not putting more stimulants in our body right now. Um, but funny story, the funny story, right? This was stuck in customs for two weeks, and I'll explain why. There was an error listed on the packing slip that this package 
was valued at $43,000. Valuation, way too high. Way too high. <laughs> and so uh, I got a notice that, hey, um, your, uh, your, your import fee will be about $7,000. I'm like, yeah, uh, why? <laughs> why is it? This is, these are supposed to be sam these are considered samples for me because I, I want to inspect the product, look look at it and everything because take this seriously. Um, and I was like, Zip, this doesn't make sense, why? And they're like, oh, well the product's valued at this. I'm like, all right, let's get this figured out. Let's get this cleared out. And as soon as we got it cleared out, got the package, got the orders. Well, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. Yesterday, as I mentioned, was a magical day. Fantastic. Um, I wish I could tell you guys more details. But one that would ruin the show uh, if you guys aren't Canada able to watch this and two uh, I signed a non-disclosure so I can't talk about it there's chances I can get fined since I'm probably one of the biggest like have the biggest following that is on that show in fact I almost get I do guarantee it um, I would well there, there'd be a higher chance of any producer seeing this and anyone else talking about the fact that I spoiled some beans um, and I could get in trouble and I could get actually fined. And sometimes it's like a million bucks you can get fined for exploiting or like uh, not exploiting for, for sharing details that you shouldn't have. So I'm going to um, keep that money with <laughs> Furious Pete rather than, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for your daily support. You guys have been amazing. Uh, all my links are in the description below. And as always, my friends, you guys stay sexy and stay hungry. Woo, woo.